Hi, this is Dean Cardinal with Worldwide Trekking. And today I want to talk about Kilimanjaro and the camps and the crews that we use on the mountain. So when we're climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, you know, the crews that we use are really amazing. The work that these guys do on the mountain for us, we couldn't do it without them. Our crews start with our guide team. You know, on Kilimanjaro, you're gonna have a Western lead guide, worldwide trekking lead guide, medically certified, professional, and well-trained with years of experience. You're gonna have local Tanzanian licensed guides. We will have one licensed Tanzanian guide for every two guests. So if we have 12 people on the climb, we have six licensed guides with us from Tanzania. Along with that, we're gonna have a big crew of cooks, assistant cooks, dishwashers. We're gonna have a tent crew to set up and break down all the tents. Um, we're gonna have toilet attendants that deal with the toilets. We'll have two toilets in camp with privacy tents. We're also gonna have waiters. When the cooks make the food, we have waiters that actually serve in the dining tent and even have one guy designated for filling all the water and making sure that we have fresh water uh, to drink that's filterized and, and in a jug so you can make sure that you're filling up all the time. Along with that, we're gonna have a huge staff of porters to help carry all of the food and fuel and tents and all of the gear that we're going to need. Kilimanjaro uh, is a climb where we're moving camp each day. We don't stay in one camp and go from camp and back to camp each night. Every day, the entire camp gets picked up and moved. So at our camps, we're gonna have a large uh, cook tent where the cook and the cook team uh, is in there preparing all of our meals. And uh, we're going to have a dining tent. We use a Mountain Hardware Space Station. So this beautiful large dome tent with a table and chairs inside, plenty of space for 15 or so people in there sitting down comfortably at mealtime. And then we're going to have uh, a couple of toilets in camp, our own portable toilets that will be moved from camp to camp each day. I use ice fishing tents for the privacy tents because they're a little larger and they're very comfortable. They don't have a floor in them. They're easy to unzip and you can go in, go to the bathroom, get changed, clean up in there and have plenty of space to do so. Along with that, each one of our guests is going to have a a VE25 North Face four season tent. They're brand new, very good outside, and we'll have three person tents for each two people. So we put two people in a tent, it's a three person tent, so there's plenty of space inside for extra gear and your duffel bag and to get changed and that kind of thing. There are mountain tents, so uh, they're not huge stand up tents, you know, they're more of a mountain tent, but a beautiful tent and a beautiful camp set up on Kilimanjaro. To be successful on the mountain, it's really important to be comfortable and to be able to recharge at the end of the day. And the camps that we have help people arrive at camp, feel comfortable, get cleaned up, be able to eat and relax and enjoy conversation about the day and share stories and have fun times, which all aid in the enjoyment on Kilimanjaro that really help with the success that we're gonna have as we make our way up the mountain. Learn more about our Kilimanjaro climbs on our website at www.trek.com, read our travel blog, or contact us directly.